Welcome back to the channel, gamers. Today, we're going to be playing a prologue of a game that's going to be coming up on the channel here shortly. Now, I don't know a lot about the original game because supposedly Alone in the Dark is actually a remake of a cult classic. And come to think of it, I feel like a lot of games I want to cover or I have been coming out in the past couple of years are remakes or reimaginations. So I don't really have any expectations as far as alone in the dark but it did catch my eye you know three or four months ago when i saw the trailers and i checked it out on steam and it looked pretty legit it looks like something very similar to a resident evil style kind of psychological horror so you know resident evil is always near and dear to my heart so i had to check it out it's got a star studded cast i'm excited for uh, an original storyline supposed to be super impactful the greatest game that's ever made blah 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 but i wanted to bring it to the channel just so we can sit in the driver's seat together and maybe make our judgment on what is actually decent normally i'm not a big fan of playing demos simply because i feel like it's a movie trailer you see too early and a lot of movie trailers or game trailers in general nowadays they really give away the best parts of a game you know right from the trailer so I really try to steer away from it. But since this is a prologue and will directly relate to the story we're going to be getting into, I thought it was worth a go. So welcome back to the channel. Let's get started. The prologue for Alone in the Dark. That's a creepy time when they used to make masks out of paper mache. I mean, I can only imagine, you know, there wasn't much ways to entertain themselves. There's probably a lot less creepy in that time zone or time era, but, um, you know, from a bird's eyes view, it's still creepy. Okay, we're in here. I'm pretty sure for this demo, we're not going to be doing anything but like investigating stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is just like a sneak peek into just how the game is going to present itself atmospherically. So let's get into it. I can't wait to paint this. Gonna give it a big mustache. Hmm. Not my best work, if I'm being honest. Got a southern accent. I wonder where we are. I think we're in Louisiana, actually, to be honest with you. Like I said, I, I really tried to stay away from anything that would give away the story. And I already kicked myself in the foot, like, every time I go to the Steam page just to check on the release date or, like, any news or anything, I get small glimpses of maybe content creators that get access to it early, and I really don't want to see any more than I have to. Oh, wow, look at that reflection. Dude, I, I hate when you know something's coming and the anxiety of something's coming is what makes you startled instead of the actual thing startling you. Look at this mess. Need a key. Oh, goodness, you scared me. What are you up to, Jeremy? I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Grace. You're not a spy, are you? Hands off, spy? pal. Them, the others, all of them. No, you're too innocent. I'm too innocent. That was suspect. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No, 
He could be in on it. What if he won't post my letter? Then don't make it look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. Girl's a little too carefree at the moment. Miss Emily Hartwood, Dauphin Street, New Orleans. You don't have the number? Not sure the postman's gonna find it without... Jeremy? Where'd he go? I'll just post it myself then. So weird. I'll just take this letter downstairs to the clerk's office myself. I feel like the walk in this game is booking it. Like, I'm barely moving my joystick. She's flying. Look at that big old key. I guess that's the one we need. I think it's huge. How are there so many books in this house and still nothing I want to read? Feels like TV. So many channels. Not enough to watch. And the game looks great. I wish Batiste would drive me around all day. Maybe if I broke my leg. Don't do that. Uh-oh, Cassandra. I'm touching your typewriter. I'm really hoping this game would be, like, full of puzzles. Kind of like in Resident Evil 2 or the original Resident Evil, which I actually never played. I'm kind of ashamed to say that out loud since I'm a, such a huge supporter of the Resident Evil franchise. I, I could deal with some, like, creepy jump scares or just, you know, a mystery. I like reading the, the materials you pick up to unfold the mystery of what's going on. So you can figure it out yourself. Sandra should be more careful with her medicine. Okay. I already washed my hands today. That was creepy the way it... Do all doors shut by themselves around here? All right, the sound's a little off. I don't know if that's because this is the demo or... Dude, these doors keep closing on their own. There we go. <laughs> the sound of the door is happening before the door actually opens. So creepy. Oh, cool. That looks like a puzzle, no doubt. <clears throat> you know the key? What is going on here? Dude. My clips in the background? That looks dope. She said, what have you done, Jeremy? Like, she kind of knows how this is happening. I'm supposed to navigate these creepy things? She's still just jolly about mailing this letter. Pretty sure this is... Whoa. Whoa! Stay. Stay? Like it's her pet? What? She's doing this like this happens every so often. Like, oh, the house is like this again. 
better use the bear to navigate the swamp to the dining room or whatever. are definitely solidly creepy. Oh. I can't remember. I'll have to do some more research on when this is actually set. I'm maybe like in the 20s or the 30s. But it's, you know, in most horror movies, like this era of music, like this calm music in the background always sends a creepy vibe. I don't know how they got it to room. I don't know how it always sells the atmosphere of the creepiness. Maybe because it, it's like a time we don't understand, I only for pictures. Pales in comparison to the foyer. Still with the letter in hand. We're supposed to mail a letter, right? This looks like a kind of like a post office vibe. Need a key. Mr. Wait. Hello? Need another key? You missing it? Do we have an inventory system? No. Must have been the letter we sent. Last night I dreamt that my uncle hung himself in the attic, that we were too late. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetto. Definitely a weird place. Feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, Detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle, Miss Hartwood. Damn. So there it is. What what a short little prologue. I don't I can't remember the little girl's name, but I know these two are the main characters and we can assume that the letter that we sent uh the character played by actress Jodie Comer is the niece that the guy was trying to get the letter to. So, I mean, it jump scared me a couple times and the atmosphere was was pretty creepy. So, you know, I've I have pretty high expectations of what the game has to offer. Now, it does come out very shortly and it will be featured on the channel. So if you guys are interested in this game, come back to the channel, check it out. I always love to have you. Anybody who's old to the channel, new to the channel, you're always welcomed. I'm just another gamer. Save a gamer, save a life. And I can't wait to see you when we feature Alone in the Dark as a new series on the channel. Peace.